What a do, fam squad? We here with Mix. We passed out over here, riding over here. <laughs> the Dex Smiths here, Atlantic City Team Wars. And uh, I'll give it up to you. What have you been playing today, sir? Uh, pretty much <laughs> the love hated deck that pretty much people are going to be all sad once February comes up. <laughs> Good old Storm. <laughs> um, to be honest, for the first time actually playing Storm uh, meta, it's. It was fair. I'm not going to say it's broken. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's, it's actually fair. It got me fair games. So, start. Of course, here goes the good old leader, the brand new Broly. Shout out to you, Ryder. Um, <laughs> the auto, when the card attacks, you take a life, draw a card. So, that's basically essentially drawing two cards off that one attack. Um, for the awakened side, ready, two energies, flip it over to the monster of leaders auto of course when it attacks draw a card um the first activate main you could choose one battle card the opponent controls and switch it to rest mode so it's actually pretty good like if they have um these little blockers on board and it, you know they're going to use their blockers to like stop an attack just put them to rest mode or they have any just one card on board and they can potentially combo with it just rest that combo card and on the board and they're gonna have to take it. And the second act of me, which is I think is pretty much broken for a leader like this. Um for the second act of me, mean you take a life and you can ready any card on your side of the board. It can be either energy, it can be the leader himself, or a battle card. So stupid. So I'm gonna drop it right here and go through the whole deck. So as you see, of course, it's all mono yellow. For the first choice, I went with three ox kings. Only felt like I needed, I didn't feel like I needed more than three, but three was just fine. Um, he only came on board when I know the if my opponent is playing um, cards that chooses mine. So I can either rest it, destroy it, etc. So it did pretty much do very well, but became charge bait, charge bait most of the time. Three adopted Father, Son, Gohans. Of course, you know, you got to have your extra um, swap free swap cards when you're less than four life unless you like you want to recklessly kill yourself with bardock four master roshis self-explanatory don't need to explain um four bardocks the one that gets everything swap running the <laughs> ban on february 1st for goten and i honestly understand why he's leaving you know i wasn't too eh about it, but playing it, I definitely understand why this was a good choice on Bandai's part. Three dependable Dynasty Son Goku. I know a lot of players only ran like one or two. I think three, three to me was on the even side. Um, two of each of the super combos. Your draw card, give 10k, um, and Tushigesh. Um, I only got Kronoa once. After that, I didn't really see anybody using Kronoa. So, trust me, use Kronoa. A lot of people are going to sleep on, on this again. So, I recommend it. Hmm. Uh, for Super Saiyan Blue Sun Gokus, why? Because I didn't have any access to any of the three-drop Sun Goku from the National Championships pack. That three-drop 30k beater. But, just provided an alternative. Was charged. I probably only put it down on board once just for pressure because 20k can't go wrong. Um, two explosive spirit Son Goku, the card that comes out with Shigesh, never hard drop it, only with Shigesh, it would either be charged or comboed out. But once it comes down, Kale is a battle card in rest mode, and he's a blocker on board. So, um, three power charge Bardocks. This was actually a little kind of techie. Um, on one of my games, I actually swung with this card. And I chose not to draw to give it double strike. And since the double strike actually lasts for the duration of the turn, I had a play where I swung to my opponent and pressured his leader. And then I used the Broly activate main to ready him. And I still got to draw a card because he still kept the double strike. That's dumb. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And of course, the Bardock Will of Iron. 
Um, I've only ever got to play it once, going over the one drop Bardock, but mainly became charge bait, or it becomes a it became a yellow card to pitch with flying Nimbus. Um, and out of the battle cards, last but not least, Mira, self-explanatory. We don't need to explain. Um, FYI, these two are stupid when it comes to him attacking because you can swing the first time, he gains the boost, activate main to ready him, he's, he gains the boost again because it says whenever it attacks. And power boost stays at least until the, until the entire turn. Stupid. Um, Bloodlust actually been pretty helpful. Um, knowing what I was going up against, I was able to stop plays. Um, three flying Nimbus, of course, you know, flying Nimbus, one of, one of the best negates in the game. Um, three planet Vegeta's basically is there to search out Go Tens or Shigashes or explosive power, explosive spirit if you don't have Shigash. It basically search for anything. Um, three successors, didn't run four, don't have four, but whenever I needed a, a swap, it was mainly either... Grandpa Gohan or Dependable Dynasty. And last but not least, out of my my personal, I would say not a secret tech, but to me is an MVP. Two bad ring lasers. Um, out of two of my games, when I put pressure on my opponent and they try to counter it, it's just bad ring. I did not hesitate to drop it. <laughs> um, dropped it against a mirror match and dropped it against a very unique deck, which it was really... You, it was really fun playing, but the moment I see a counter coming out of the board, if I know I'm, I can take advantage of that attack and you get a counter, I'm going to just stop it. It's really good. Anything with yellow should definitely run this, at least at two. I mean, stopping a counter is actually pretty good. So, <laughs> Beast. <But> yeah. <laughs> that was it for the whole deck. I mean, this is the final hurrah for Storm, so I figured I'd join the club and just play it. First time playing Storm, like I said, it did fair. So, and I understand why people hate it. <laughs> so this is more of a love hate type of deck. <laughs> so I just felt like playing it just for the giggles. I so, just played a different leader. You played one of your favorite leaders. Yeah, that's the good part. <laughs> right, thank you, Mix. Thank you. Uh, here are the decksmiths at Atlantic City Team Wars. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.